Hi ho YouTube. Thank y'all for uh, watching the last video. Anyways, we're going to continue where we left off. This is episode 2 of Fallout 4. I am going to, if I can remember, to put the mod list in the description. Oh yeah, I did remove one mod. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama oh, Murphy all along. You want. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah, I used to like living here before the war. Yeah, I used to like living here before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Uh, just my son. Somebody took him while I was still trapped. Been looking for him. My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Me too, Preston. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Uh, why not? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Yeah. Thanks, Preston. Overland Station. Good lord, that's on the... It's on the way. That's where we gotta go. Right, let's see. You willing to do some work? What? It is dark, y'all, in this game. I... Toward Diamond City, good. We just going to Diamond City too. All right, so let's go on to back to Concord. What's in here? Ooh, bottle caps. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. I'll probably do one one at a time. I'm not gonna let this video go on for an hour like I did last time. So, I'm sorry about that, but, and y'all, I, I am so sorry about, uh, being so long getting back with y'all, I, I didn't purposely go off for, for that whole time, and forget about y'all, I was wanting to, I was wanting to record something for y'all, but, you know, things came up personal family matters and all that yeah it just was torture for me so we'll uh I want to try to get back onto a upload schedule god willing and we'll see what happens from there I like this shotgun. I might 
I'll come back later and try to clean this place up. Go through all these buildings that I didn't go through earlier. Yeah, I got you already. Let's go. I don't know which side I'm going to go with. Am I going to go for the Minutemen? Which is who Preston's with? Am I going to go for the Brotherhood of Steel? Am I going to go for the Railroad? Or am I going to go with the Institute? I don't know yet. In my personal playthrough, I went through uh, the Minutemen, which took forever. Hello, who are you? Hey. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Well, let's see what you got. Let's see what you've got. Oh, I have a little bit of everything. Yes, you do. And you have a little bit of caps that I would love to have. But I'm not going to rob you. Let's see. Yes, that's part of, of a mod, y'all. 399 caps. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I need it or not. Six. Okay, well, six will do us. Actually, I'm good, thanks. Alright, we're going to Oberlin Station, which somewhere through here. Who we had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. You know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Mr. Power Armor. This doesn't involve you. Stop. You stop waving that gun at my face or it is going to involve me. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Now hand over your money, all of it. Now hand over your money, all of it. Just keep calm, all right? Here. That's everything I have. Get the out of here. Now get the hell out of here, both of you. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Fine. We'll leave. Just my goddamn luck. I can't believe you made that scumbag turn tail and run. Here, this is for you. Now you ever need to trade? My shop's open. Yeah, let's see what you got. Let's see what you've got. A little bit of everything. Let's see, what do you have, Miss Trudy? Yeah, 
yeah, I don't deal well with Raiders or pushovers like that. Because the way I see it is, if you're out to cause trouble, you deserve to get robbed. I don't mind robbing people who's trying to rob other people. Well, you got three frag grenades. I don't know. <sighs> Cold. Alright, Miss Trudy, you don't have anything I'm looking for right at the moment, so I'll see you around. Alright, let's get out of here. Come on, dog. Daylight. And let's go. Come on now. Oh, I know where I'm at. Grey Gordon is right down here. Dog meat. Oh. oh, there you are. Hey, wait there. Yeah, I got something for you.
that down. Excuse me. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble. Well, I'm not here. here to cause trouble. Yeah, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm here to help. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm here to help. I'm with the Minutemen. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, yeah, I'm that. sure. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like oh, that. Oh, it's Raiders. Corvega. I hate the Corvega assembly facility. Don't worry. I'll take care of them for you. Don't worry. I'll take care of those Raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Uh, usually I get sent to... Uh, Ten pines bluff first. Uh, now I'm getting sent to Oberlin Station to go back to Corvega. It's okay. I don't mind. And, yep. Oh, it's Boston. Where am I going, though? Go back this way. Go back this way, you doofus. First time I saw Yawai in uh, Fallout 3, first time I played it, I'm like, what the heck is that?
the hill. Trying to help y'all, y'all shooting me. So that's it, huh? Come on, man. No! Let's go! Don't kick my dog. Son of a biscuit. I'm up here trying to help y'all because I hear gunfire and y'all shoot start shooting at me. I don't take to that too kindly, thank you very much. Where you at? Where's the gun? There she is. sell that stuff. I come because I hear gunfire and then I come to try to help them and what do they do? Start shooting at me. Trying to be a murderer here, but I mean, they're attacking me for no good reason. That's already loaded. Let's see. Let's go this way. people's natural reaction would be, I hear gunfire, let's run away from it. But my natural reaction to hearing gunfire on the game is, let's run to it.
Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Mikey. Let's go get the Diamond City discovered. Please, game, don't crash. Actually, make a quick save. <laughs> yeah, quick save because every time I try to go into Diamond City's gates or to the gateway of Diamond City, it crashes on me every single flipping time. Open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Alright, let's uh, make it easier for ourselves. Okay, power armor hood. There it is. T45 helmet. Just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Ooh. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's uh, in a dizzy. Fake dizzy. news, huh? Ah! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. Yeah, she's busy. You. You want into Diamond City, uh, right? Yeah. I just got here, but yeah. I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for I a whole month. That. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the oh, supply? Great. Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> you had me lie to a policeman. Uh, let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped uh, for you parts. Don't. Ooh, you can't is do that. that. A statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Well, hey, I've always believed in freedom of the press. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Oh yeah, this ain't been the friendliest welcome. Let's see. All right. I'm sure the city's a great place. I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah. Greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Uh, I'm just looking for something. Just looking for something? Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Well, I'm looking for uh, an infant boy who's been kidnapped. My son, Sean. He's Wrong less button. than a year old. 
Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, you know, a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down. Usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Alright. Will do. But, first of all, you done got me in trouble with security, so I gotta straighten this crap out, woman. <sighs> Seems like my luck never ends. You, Danny? You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It just happened so fast. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> You're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Thanks, sir. We might call it here in just a minute. I don't want to go too long, like I said, because it does take forever to. Yay! It does take forever to load, load up everything, so. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna call it here. All right, y'all. I'm sorry about the last video again. Like I said, I didn't know how to record using on the Xbox, so I had to figure out another way. But anyways, y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm gonna have to leave it here. We're coming, dog meat. But. We're going to leave it here, and we will catch it up next episode, so just leave me a comment. And let me know who I should side with, and, you know, A, B, C, or D. You know, A being Minutemen, B being Brotherhood of Steel, C, Railroad, or D, Institute. Let me know, y'all. All right, y'all, so I will catch y'all later, and... God bless and have a good day. Bye.